hi and welcome back to A Case for Books. Today I'm going to talk to you some of the posts that I got this week. Now a perk of my job is that I do get a lot of posts. Uh, I saved up all my posts this week and there was just over 40 books. And so in the background you're going to be able to see me speeding through some of the books that caught my attention. And then I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about the books that I'm the most excited to read. So you've just seen the new book by Joanne Harris, which is a psychological thriller, and now this by Patrick Dealey, which is a debut by a playwright that I've been hearing lots about. Georgina Harding's been shortlisted for the Orange Prize, so I'm really interested to see more about that. And whilst I feel like I've read a lot of books about old people on journeys, this one does look quite charming. Needlework comes from a small Irish press and boasts a cover quote by Louise O'Neill, so I'm definitely going to have a look at this one. And Little Warrior has won a prize in Italy, I believe, and is about a Somali girl and is based on a true story, so that looks really interesting too. This is a non-fiction book about a girl who disguised herself as a boy to escape a really oppressive tribal region in Pakistan. And then we've got this book that everybody is talking about, inspired by the murder of Larry Fove's king. And I finally got my hands on the sequel to The Amazing The Sea Eater's Daughter by Mel Salisbury and I can't wait to read this one. I'm also really looking forward to this children's debut, which is about a maid of honour to Catherine Howard, who is Henry VIII's fifth wife. This one is very exciting, as it's the fiction debut by the brilliant book editor of Heat magazine, Isabel Broom. And then we've got the new book by Harriet Evans, and then a graphic novel, which I don't know much about, but is published by Myriad, who published some brilliant graphic novels last year, so I'm really excited to have a look at this one. Another very buzzy book is this memoir by Emma Beddington about her obsession with being French. And then finally for this super fast bit is this children's debut by Stuart Foster, which is called The Bubble Boy. So all of those books will be on my to be read pile, but there are five that I was particularly excited about that have jumped to the top. The first of which is this brilliant collection by feminist cartoonist Jackie Fleming, which takes a satirical look at all the ridiculous reasons that men have given in the past for why women are less able to do things, and how women have always retrieved each other from what Fleming calls the dustbin of history. I read this as soon as I opened it because it's a very quick read and it's completely brilliant. The next thing I'm really looking forward to reading is the collection of short stories by Helen Oyemi which is called What is Not Yours is Not Yours. Now I've not actually read any of hers before but so many people whose taste I trust have said that I would love them so I'm really looking forward to getting to this. The press release says the reader is invited into a world of lost libraries and locked gardens, of marshlands where the drowned dead live and a city where all the clocks have stopped. Students hone their skills at puppet school, the homely wench society commits a guerrilla book swap and lovers exchange books and roses on St Geordie's Day. So I am completely sold. Next is a big literary event, the first novel by Kate Tempest, who has won the Ted Hughes Prize for her poetry and also been nominated for the Mercury Prize for her music. It's described as a multi-generational tale of drugs, desire and belonging set in London, and I can't wait to read it. I had been waiting to get my hands on this book ever since this project was first announced a couple of months ago. This is the first in a new series by historian and author Alison Weir about the six wives of Henry VIII, so you can see on the front of the proof there, it's going to be six novels about one wife each over the next six years. Naturally, the first book is about Catherine of Aragon, Henry VIII's first wife, and I am so excited to read these books. Although, if you follow me on Twitter, you will already know that the second book about Anne Boleyn is the one that I am really looking forward to. And finally is a debut that isn't even out until June by an American author called Emma Klein, and the book is called The Girls. Now, I don't know a lot about this book. The things that I do know are that it was bought for an awful lot of money, that the film rights have already been sold, and that it is loosely based on the Manson murders. It's set in 1969 about a girl called Evie. And the first sentence is, I looked up because of the laughter and kept looking because of the girls. So hopefully this one lives up to the hype. So there's a whistle stop tour of my post this week. Here are some other places you can find me. And if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe.